Rollers of the Realm. Rollers of the Realm? Odama. Odama. Now you're talking. Now you're speaking my language. Yoku's Puzzle Island yep, my Adventure? Man, my man Yud Saito up in here. Uh, Yoku's Island Express. Yoku's Island Express. Brad, we have another game to join the pantheon of pinball mashup This game's got games. some art. Oh yeah. That was a nice looking, that was a very stylish title screen. Oh all, yeah. Jeez, man, this is a good looking game. Brad, this is the creature in the well, and yeah. this is just a good video game. Okay, uh, I like those. Yeah, so uh, it is a puzzle, it is a action pinball. They say it's pinball with swords in the mm. genre on their preview paper. Um, but it's so much more than that. Uh, this game is actually really quite cool. So there's, there's a little bit of setup at the top. You are the last engineer. Um, you are curious about, so you're kind of in this desert town here, and you're curious about if there's anything beyond the sand. Uh, so you kind of venture from your little village here into the machine. Uh, and the machine here is this big, complex thing that you don't really know much about, but uh, you start to uncover it as you go. Let's see if this guy, Roger T. Frog, has any info. Oh, he is a frog. They said a sandstorm was coming, bigger than they have. The weather tether, that's what he, he, he got really embarrassed because he's like, I call it the weather tether, but I haven't told anyone. Is it a good name? He's a, he's a little self-conscious. It's not a bad it. name. It's not. I never thought to rhyme those before. Later. Uh, not to get ahead of ourselves, but is this, uh, I'm trying to think how to ask this. Is it one town, one dungeon? Is it Diablo? Uh, like, like, is this is this the whole of the game, I guess? Is this it, this is, is the it, whole area. So the way you choose which dungeon you go into is you hit these little okay. markers here. So this will just change okay. the door. Yeah, so I had gotten the impression somewhere that it was just sort of one giant dungeon that you're exploring or something. Yeah. In fact, is that right? Okay. It, yeah, it's a it's one dungeon, but each of the like, yeah, yeah, different, different branches and stuff. Branches sure. all have kind of a different... But what look. I mean is it's not a big open world or anything. Like no. this is It's kind of a self-contained... So the game here, you kind of got two, well, you got three moves. So first off, I have a dodge on A here, and it's a good dodge. Um, you can kind of cancel out of any sort of dash, oh. or attack, rather. Uh, you have a swing, which is just a very basic, like, knock the projectile back. Um, nice. Kind of hard to time, so yeah. what you have also is this move. What, what is uh, that? Are you storing their shots? Yes, so this is called the... So you have charge and a strike. This is charge. So as long as I'm holding X here, I can kind of like... I can't move, I can't walk right now, but I can dash. Huh. So I can catch their balls and kind of hold them, and you'll see this arrow here. Um, this is kind of where I'm directing it, and then at any time I can hit the strike button to kind of launch them out. Uh, so I assume there's a cap on like how many you're storing? Yeah. Or how much damage you can deal? At the start of the game, you can kind of only hold four before you start taking damage. I've gotten an upgrade that lets me hold four and not take damage, but that seems to be the cap of how many I can hold. Um, and your goal is to kind of hit okay. objects right. here. I like, what um, I like what I'm seeing here. You only have to worry about anything red. Anything red will damage you. Any like these balls that they're just shooting out, there's not going to hurt me. But if I bounce oh, it off this okay. red guy, it comes back at me red. Oh, interesting. And then that's when I need to catch it and kind of demagnetize it. Um, there's tons of different weapons, or at least like I think 20 is what they said. The weapon I have equipped now, uh, whenever I catch one of those red balls, I'm recovering some of my health. That's the big gray bar in the top left there. Um, also, whenever I'm hitting these little things, I'm getting energy, which is that big number there, 59,000. Uh, so you don't need to clear every room necessarily. Um, I've already explored quite a bit of this floor here. You can see the map in the bottom right. Uh, ah. it's a little, it took me a little while to understand exactly what was going on, but the filled in white circle is where I am. Which one are you in? Oh, oh the one the one that's fully filled in. Yes. Okay, from, my, from here, a lot of them look kind of filled in. Yeah, and some of these are like partially filled in. I think that means there's still like challenges for you to find. Ah. Uh, basically, so you don't need to clear every room, but every door has an energy cost. And it'll be like 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, or whatever. Uh, so I can just go up to this door. Oh, go a little further. So I go here and see, ah. I can just add 10,000 and not even worry about this room. But odds are this room is going to give me more than 10,000. So let's just hit it and see kind of what happens. Oof. Yeah, so you get, you get the balls going. And eventually, once you hit enough little doohickeys. Thanks. It'll start to, oh God, it'll start to make the room a little more chaotic as you go. 
And so you kind of got to always be ready to move. This is a very active game, very frenetic. Um, and then usually when you clear a room, there's some of these little guys which are just basically energy batteries. But look at that, I got more than 10,000. I can just add this power and go. Wow, that looks different. This game's got a look. Yeah, it really, wow. oh hey, here's Jeez. the creature. It's just the, the animation, the way that even just the camera moves. Oh, is there a creature? Yeah, this is him. We have a complicated relationship. Um, he at first was telling me to get out and leave, um, but he's also, whenever you die, you don't die, he like picks you up and plucks you out to the beginning of the dungeon. He's like, just stop trying. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, I bet there's a lot of story of what's going on with this guy. That sounds so appealing. Oh, this might be a just, boss fight. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I could just give up. It sounds, it sounds like I could do that. Uh, well, I kind, I, mean, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing what a boss looks like in this game. I'll, I'll get to him. I just want to show off a little more of the other stuff because the boss fights seem to be hard <laughs> and I don't want to die a lot. Is there any progress? I know that you said there are different weapons, but... Uh, so there yeah. is... Oh, nice. This is a healing, or? healing room. Uh, there's no persistence. So here, here's the different weapons and stuff. Um, they seem to have different perks. So I have this fan blade, which is the thing I was talking about. Uh, you recharge energy from the ball when it has received power from an external source. That basically means when it's red. I just got these though. Uh, the dual blades, incredibly fast and accurate. We'll see where the ball goes. So I'll show that off. It kind of gives you more than just this little arrow. It gives you a whole little line. Um, because sometimes you have to make precision shots. Sometimes the rooms will be like, you hit one thing and then four other things will pop up with a timer. And it's like, you have to hit those four things before the timer goes away. Uh, there he is. He's kind of always watching. Maybe I did all of this. Oh, you know what? Let's go fight the boss. So you can hold a to sprint and you, you, it's one of those things where you gather speed really quick. So you don't have to worry too much about your back travel time. This kind of reminds me of Fury a little bit. Yeah. Did you play that game? Yeah, oh, well, I saw it. Just a little bit of the style and movement. A little reminiscent. Yeah, the style, the style is really cool. Um, and the story is cool. The, like, the writing is interesting. Uh, I like this weird relationship I have with the creature. Is he just gonna, okay. Oh, what did I do here? Oh, I think this is a fast travel warp uh, back to the beginning of this floor. All right, here we go. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Uh, are you on a different floor now? Uh, Looks like it. I am. Okay, so this is my charge blade here. So in these boss bottles, you kind of got to, so these red things will damage me. You can kind of flick them away with the a ball though. But your goal is to just kind of hit any, uh, let's call them bumpers. Hmm, okay. Cause you know, they, they lean into the pinball stuff. Pretty much universally, all the bumpers have that kind of color to them, that like yellowish gray. Um, the language of the game, it becomes very apparent what you can interact with and what you can't. Any idea what their colorblind options are like? I, I don't know, let's, we'll, let's look into the options before we go. They seem to have a lot of, oh, okay. Um, and then you'll also see, so that you see that thing shooting the laser out. Uh, you can determine its health with how filled in the white, uh, part above it is. We'll show you when there's another one. Okay, looks like I gotta shoot up there. So you see they kind of have nothing above them right now. It's kind of a lot to take in if you haven't been through what I assume is a more gentle onboarding kind of process. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll, I'll pop back in uh, after this. I mean, that's first. fine, it's just. But it, it's basically, the name of the game is Look, like, be on the move, you know, sure. constantly move around, look for your next objective. You can stall really well, like, I can just do this forever, you know? I'm kind of not in a hurry, so I can hit away these red things, oops, kind of at my leisure, and then look for, like, okay, I need to hit that guy over there. And it opened up the thing in the top there. Am 
I not supposed to? Oh, I see. So yeah, you see how there's a black dot on the top of those? And if I hit them, it kind of gets a little more white and then a little more white until it pulls up. I, uh, by default, your two buttons are like X and Y for hold and swing, but I found it to be a lot more playable when I reassign those to the triggers. Hmm. Okay. Ah. So do you have no face buttons ah. at that point? Uh, I still dash with A. Ah. Tricky. Okay. All right, so you're- Oh my well, God. Probably gonna end up back where you started. Probably, yeah. Oh! There's no like items or anything. Oh God. I need Maybe to focus like, on like power-ups or anything? Yeah, or like recovery, like potions or anything. So you see, I know I need to get those bumpers that are there behind the walls. So I need to do a lot of bank shots. Sometimes the name of the game is really just hit it in as many directions as you can. Um, yeah, do you ever find yourself just hitting the objectives without meaning to, just because stuff's flying everywhere? Totally. And I don't think that's like necessarily unintended. Um, I think they know exactly how frantic this game can be. Uh, What's the uh, death penalty like? It's pretty forgiving. It They kind of plop you back to the start of the dungeon. Um, you get to keep pretty much everything. Uh, your energy, your weapons, all that. Mm. I just need to get this last middle guy. Wait for it to open up. There we go. Almost. Okay, I, I've, I've kind of been looking for this like white thing filling up that you were talking about. I yeah, it's there. easier to see on bigger ones. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks fun. It's the, I like that they lean into the grand pinball tradition of overinflated scores yeah, and numbers. Sure. Like I've definitely had over a hundred thousand energy and that felt like within moments of starting the game. Also I like that they give you a room where you just hit a bunch of stuff super fast yeah. without any challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's a good reward. Um, so at the end of, uh, this seems to be the same as the end of the first floor, you kind of get these logs that fill in a little more info. Oh, Philip Frog. Oh, it was the, it was the other frog's dad, probably. Um, but the main thing is you turn these generators back on. And it allows you access, oh, oh no, come back. Nope, nope, never getting out of here. You live here now. No. Oh. Uh, you're also unlocking uh, costumes. Oh. Straight up, just like Doesn't color. Do anything, just just cosmetic. It seems to be just cosmetic. Let's uh, let's pop back into the town because I picked up an upgrade. That yeah, I where do you get all the, the weapons? Come out of the town, or you find them in the dungeon? Or? You find them kind of all over the place. You can just find them randomly. Uh, I found like two just exploring the town. Um, I okay, really, so is it, is it not like you need a specific weapon to get past a certain floor or anything like that? No. Um, it's just kind of different play styles? Yeah. Like you find, you start out with basically this rusty pipe and the twig, or no, the, the charge sword. Um, and you can just beat the game with these, it seems. Hmm. I can't tell if they have different like, startup, let's say. Like wind up kind of? Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Maybe the bat has like more range, but less. I don't know, we'll see. You can also just go. Huh. I've never really seen how far I can, oh. Well, <laughs> the achievement is letting me know. There is nothing. Don't bother. Wow, okay. Uh, so there's a smith here in the town. Hello. I really do like the look of this. It's, it's like it's flat, but still has like detail and texture to it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me too of uh, Lethal League a oh, little bit. Sure. All right, so I can upgrade this core. Now, I've done this once before, but I'm not exactly sure what it did. I found this by finding like a secret path uh, in the world. There appears to be tons of secrets, like hidden paths and stuff. 
Uh, let's see if it says anything about my core. I think it just lets you maybe hold more orbs. Hmm. Uh, colorblind, let's see if that's options here. Doesn't look like there's mm. anything. I wonder if the that lends itself to the red green at all. Oh, there we go. Hello. I just found a wooden spoon. A gumbo maker. Gumbo is like the go-to hearty food. I think. I need a good recipe. I don't think I've ever make chili all day long, but I've never tried my hand at gumbo. Just throw some rice and chili, it's the same thing. Okay. Here's the well and the creature. The titular creature. Uh, so there's there's kind of what appears to be four main floors of the dungeon, but then there's also this little side one. And I was wondering, so I, I exited the first dungeon floor with like 50,000 energy to spare. I'm like, oh, does that mean I can just kind of run around the next floors and not have to do anything? Which it seems like maybe, but then also there's this other floor. The archives. Huh. And the archives is fucking hard. So I died like very fast. Kind of your challenge mode. This seems to be like something you come to between floors to dump your excess energy into. Oh, like all the doors have really high. So I'm just gonna run to where I haven't gotten to. So yeah, like. This is just 10,000 right at the gate. This is gonna be a, this is where I died last time. Um, let me just gather some. Those little red things on the side are bombs. Huh, ooh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And so they're right next to the ball dispensers too. Huh, yeah, wow. So the way the balls work is they'll bounce a certain number, ah! Oh God. They'll bounce a certain number of times before they just disappear. Okay. Uh, unless you hit them again. So you can kind of keep it going forever. Oh wow, I just noticed how slowly those bars are filling. Yeah. So you really want to just like, ideally, I probably just want to do something like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe this is teaching me to be smarter about where you place your ball. There we go. All right. Let's keep peeking through these archives here. Any idea if, like, are, are you potentially pursuing greater rewards here? Like, is it a higher risk reward, bigger payoff kind of thing? There is no information. Hmm. Uh, maybe, uh, my, my gut would be this is some sort of true ending path. Like, maybe you need to complete the archives before uh, you get to see, like, the, you know. Maybe there's more to this place than it leads. Oh god, okay. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Luckily I eliminated all the red. You're also kind of incentivized to clear every room because that's where the secret paths come from. Is just from like clearing certain rooms. It just, it, it, it's, a game like this I could see being Tough if it didn't control so well. Yeah. I think the way the reason this game works and the reason I'm digging it so much, other than like it has really good style, um, is that it just feels good. Like the dash is good. You can dash out of any swing or something. Like I never feel it's, it's similar to like Dead Cells where I never feel like all right, whenever I die, it's like oh I should have been a little more active or oh I could have done this a little differently. It's never just like oh well there was no way I was going to be it's able like to. Controls are not holding you back. Yes. I just have to say how satisfying that was to watch just now. Oh yeah. Really good sounds too. No, no secrets. Hmm. Got a lot of energy though. Just wanted to make sure there's not like a little guy in this corner here. Not so much health though. No. Wait, is it so yeah, is it a dead end? Huh. Let's back out. Uh, it doesn't seem to be super long. Oh yeah, that's a 20,000 door right there. Uh, I'm about, uh, when I started playing this, I was about 25% of the way in. Uh, that's strange. I was just in front of that door. I should say this is a preview build. Yeah, we're uh, 
two, three weeks out from release. Yeah, there we go. What is it, September uh, fourth? September, I got it over here. Uh, I wanna say fourth. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, it's kind of, The cool thing is it's coming to Switch. Uh, I'm playing on Steam, so it'll be on Steam, Switch, and Xbox Game Pass day yeah. one. Cool. And I think it's only like, what, 15 bucks? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 it took me about 90 minutes to get about 25% of the way through. Okay. So did you finish that entire first floor? Oh! Yikes. I did. Oh, well, this is good. We can show off the... It's very uh, linked to the past, you know, the big sure. hand coming yeah. down to grab you. Shh. Rude. Oh, hey. It's the well. <laughs> yeah. Um... So when you beat that boss in the regular dungeon, was that the end of the entire floor? Yes. Okay, you want to just like pop into the next one? I'm just yeah. kind of curious to see if there's like a different art treatment on the next one or something. Yeah, totally. Or like what a couple of the starting rooms are like. Uh, yeah, so the, the first floor was kind of very much just like a very basic, here's the controls. The second floor had a lot more of like precision challenges, like get the ball through this very small hole. Uh, did I not? I thought I activated. Hmm. Oh, you know. Hmm. It's weird because the last time I just all I had to do was come back to this hub world, and then something else was there. But luckily, I unlocked that warp here. So we're back. Maybe you just have to check into every console. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to give up too much of the story. Hmm? I will say it took me it took me quite a long time just to figure out how to heal, uh, because when you start um, the game, well, the first time you die, you get plucked back to that well area with just a sliver of health. It doesn't like fill your health back up. There is a pool of health at the beginning area, though, that you can just wade in. I'm really curious, though. Hmm. What does it say you need? It said on the terminal at the Yeah. End. Let's... Acquired core system. Oh, just... Can you activate it? There was an activate prompt. Does that do oh, anything? Oh, where? Right there, oh. right bumper. Oh! Oh, no, that's the door. Yeah, it's grayed out. Mm. I'm trying. Maybe you have to... Root around in town a little bit. Power reserves. Maybe I have to go through the archives. Does it seem like it is intentionally withholding information from you? Yes. Like you need to poke around to figure out what it wants you to do? It is very much a game of discovery. This is the, the pond I was talking about. If you're, if you too are looking for where to recover health, it's right here. <laughs> um, yeah, well, okay, I'll show, I'll pop back to the first floor and just show what that looks like. My, if I had to guess, I would say that I need to go into the archives. Um, and it might be like a, like a memento sort of thing from like Persona 5 where it's something you are supposed to clear like a little bit of in between your main missions. So yeah, you see this first floor is oh, a yeah. little more foresty. Huh. Ow. Oh, this is, this is, this is the first like one where I was just like, okay. Cause you see all the little circles and you're like, oh, those are all gonna be nice little things and you get ready to hit them and then this giant laser comes out just to mess with you. Um, I'm having a blast with this. If this, if, you know, if it's gonna take me roughly six hours, let's say to beat the whole thing, uh, I think that's an easy, that's an easy proposition. To yeah, for, for 15 bucks or ah. nothing if you have game pass. Yeah. Uh, and I think cool. and it, this is just seems this is one of the more unusual games I've seen in a while. Yeah, totally. Like the, I, the mashup I, of concepts and, and genre. I appreciate people like really going for it. Yeah. Um, and it's just like it's really well polished. Like it, it's it looks nice. The story's cool. It, it's fun to play. It's just kind of all around a a really solid indie game that I think is worth checking out and. 
I'm glad you joined me in this well, Brad. Yeah, I, I yes. hope I can figure out how to get out of here it's one little, day. It's a little damp down here, but uh, you know, the I best, don't mind. The best things in life are dance. That's probably true. Yeah, I'm going to have to play this. This seems cool. Thanks, man.